Can we do speed ramps in Lightworks? Well, kind of. I got you covered today. Now, quite fashionable at the moment are speed ramps in videos. Now, you've all seen those when you see review videos or cooking videos, and the camera kind of slows, speeds up, whips around. That kind of effect is really popular. And if you're using software like Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, you can do that just in the timeline, pulling and pushing a few markers. We don't have that in Lightworks, especially in Lightworks Free Edition. But us Lightwork users are resilient folk. We like to hack our way through the timeline to get the things we want to get done. So let's get it done. I've got a clip of two cars going around two bends. We've got the white and red car and the black and red car here at the back. And that's our focus in our video. So what I want to do really is put a speed ramp just when the car is going through those two tires there so that it kind of slows down the action. It could be like an action movie and you get a glimpse of the person driving the car and generally they're shooting at people at the same time or whatever they're doing. So let's put a cut here, press C on my keyboard and I'm gonna press cut here and I'm gonna push forward on the timeline just so that the car is about there. I'm actually going to pull it back one frame and I'm gonna press C again. Let's zoom in once. Right click on the timeline, press speed. And for my slowest portion of a speed ramp, I like 25%. I think it's the best world between too slow, too fast. 25% seems to do it for me. We'll press apply. And you can of course see that the clip gets longer because we've made it slower. Let's press escape to get rid of the highlight there. Press the space bar a few frames back and let's see what happens. Now that's cool. So we've got our car as the focus of the speed ramp. And if we were to just leave it here, it would be okay. And hit slow motion and out of slow motion. But a speed ramp is cool because it kind of gives you a, a warning that you're about to slow down before it slows down. It's a really cool effect if it's used well. I'm going to go from the first frame of 25. I'm gonna pull back a few frames, not many, a few. Now, I should really count, but I'm just doing this with eyeballs. It's tempting to pull back the marker here to ramp down our speed, but I'm only going to pull a few frames like that. Press C on the keyboard, right-click speed, 50. So now what we're doing is ramping from 100, which is normal speed, down to 50, down to 25. Let's press apply and see if that portion is too big. Press escape, rewind back, and let's just have a look what the ramp does. Not bad. I think personally there's too many frames there. So I'm going to press undo twice. I'm actually going to pull back the frames there. I'm going to get closer to the 25. Press C, right click speed. Again, we're going to mark 50. Click on the clip, press apply and press escape. And there we go. Let's have a look at that. I'm quite happy with that one. Good. And then I'm going to pull back a few frames press C on my keyboard. Actually, I think I've gone too many there. Pull back a little bit more. I'm going to press C on my keyboard, right click on the timeline, 75, click on my clip and apply. Now this is subtle. I might just be doing this because it makes me feel better and it doesn't actually make any difference. But if we have a look, we're going to go from full speed, which is 100%, hit 75, hit 50, hit 25. And there we go. Now you can see exactly where this would fit in an action movie. It's that moment where the driver of the car is shown, you know, to be the coolest thing on earth. And that is a really simple speed ramp. I think it looks pretty cool. Now, as we're looking at this clip over and over again, it's worth noting that the original clip that you use in the speed ramp has to have enough frames. So if you choose a low resolution, low frame clip, when you slow it down, it's going to be choppy. It's going to be like still pictures. It won't look good in slow motion. So 30 frames does work. It's not great. 50, 60, more frames than that works spectacularly because when you slow it down, it still looks really, really clear. The other thing I want to warn you about is don't use a clip that's already filmed in slow motion. All you're going to be doing is slowing it down even more. You can't really speed up a slow motion clip 
without making it look funny. So choose a normal speed, high res if you can, and high frame rate clip. Now what I want to do, seeing as we have successfully speed ramped this car, I want to show a slightly different timing of speed ramp, is I believe that speed ramps shouldn't just be to highlight the subject, but something that's happening to the subject. So what do I mean by that? Let's go to our second clip. And what I want to do is highlight this amazing drift turn that this black car does. It's great. So what I want to do is from about this tire over here to about that tire over there, I want to put a speed ramp. I know it looks a bit early, but I promise you, well, actually, no, I'm going to go from about that tire over here, there, to about the white tire over there. So let's do that. Let's go back, press C on our keyboard, forward the playhead to the white tire. I think that should be enough. And press C again. Let's zoom in so we know what we're doing. Right click on the timeline. Now this is quite familiar to us. 25%, click the clip and press apply escape to get rid of that. Now let's have a look. We're going to go in and there, you see that? So we have made the subject of the speed ramp, not the car, but the incredible turn. There, that kind of coming out of drift and pulling back to driving straight. Looks pretty cool. Now let's do the same rules. Let's not make the same mistakes. Pull back the frames, press C, right click speed, ramp down to 50%, like that. Click on the clip, press apply, pull back very few frames, press C, speed, and 75%. Now, of course, you could you could ramp down, you know, 10 times. You can go 90, 80, 70, 60. It's far too much work, and nobody would actually realize you've done it. It's, it's, it's such a, an amount of work for almost no gain. Let's press the space bar now. Let's see if this ramp works. So there's our turn. And what I'm going to do now, which is really popular in Hollywood at the moment, is pull down into a speed ramp. So we've got 100% normal speed, 75 here, 50 here, 25 as our highlight of the ramp itself. And then afterwards, I'm going to put a speed up ramp. I'm actually going to ramp directly from 25%, way over 100%. So I'm going to overshoot. So I'm going to go to about there where the back end of the car matches those tires. Press C on my keyboard, right click speed. And this time I'm going to be really brave. Just put in 140, that's 40% 40 faster than the original speed. Click on the clip and press apply. You can see it gets shorter because we're playing faster. Press escape on my keyboard, pull back. Now, let's see if this works. And if it does, I'm gonna be really excited because I love the speed up coming out of the speed down or the slowest part of the speed ramp. Let's have a look. Come in, speed ramp down, highlight the turn, and then whip out of the turn. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So let's just watch that again. Let's press the space bar, comes in, highlight the turn, whip out. I love that. And there we have it. Let's compare both our speed ramps side by side. Neither one is right, neither one is wrong. It is what it is. It's what you want the viewer to see. So let's have a look at the first one again. So that was highlighting the driver and or the car. Comes in and goes out. Let's watch that again a little bit further back. Comes in. There's the driver. And we go. And the second one was we're highlighting the car's maneuvering. It's skill, if you like. Coming in, pulling out, and ramping out of the slow motion with a speed up. Should we um, put in a speed up at the end of this 25%? Let's see if that adds anything. So let's go here. I don't think it'll be as good, but why not? Let's have a go anyway. So let's pull in yeah, to about that turn. Press C, right click speed, 140. Click on the clip, apply. It obviously goes shorter, press escape. Now let's have a look. Does that add anything or does that make it worse? Let's have a look. Comes in. Speed ramp, driver's cool, driver's cool, whips out. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's really good. Let's have a look. Comes in and whips out. Oh, I really, really like that. I think it's because the camera's turning at the time. Makes it look really, really effective. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. Now, 
Of course, we can go mad here. We can ramp up speed. We can ramp down speed. I hope with this video, you've seen how easy it is. It is not perfect by any means. So I would not put this speed ramp of Lightworks next to a laptop with Adobe Premiere doing really expert speed ramps because there is no comparison. But in a pinch, making a video and you want to put in a speed ramp, I hope you can see that it actually works really well. And if you use it subtly and not every single, you know, every minute of your video, nobody will really know the difference. It just looks like a normal speed ramp. So guys, I hope that was useful. I hope that inspires you to try other different things in the timeline and not just the same old, same old. So happy speed ramping. See you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Think about clicking that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up and maybe think about hitting the bell notifications if you want to be notified every time a new video comes up.